welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about one of the most important topics in user stories, that is writing the user story itself. And I am going to show you how to write the user stories with the easy template called the 3R approach. The 3R approach consists of the roles, requirements and region all at the single statement. The roles explain what type of the user the feature is aimed at. The requirements gives us the information about what the user should be able to do. And the region tells us what the value is to the user or the business. In short, we answer the basic answers of who is aimed for the feature what the user is able to do with the feature and why the feature is important. It seems like a small poem or haiku if you love poetry but the advantage of designing the user stories this way simply pays off. We have already studied about the advantages of the user stories and gained the knowledge how a good user story simply accelerates the chance of progress and speeds the implementation of the goal of the project. Now let's get practical at this stage. Let's study with some practical examples to write the user stories. First, let's take the scenario where you are a registered user of a software where you can change your password to keep your e-wallet safe. Following the earlier template that I discussed, the user story for this particular scenario could be a statement that answers all the who, what and why of the product feature. Here we can write the user stories as as a registered user, I want to change the password so that I can keep my e-wallet safe. Please note that I have tried to keep the user story as simple as possible. Also in the scenario statement, I said think of yourself as a registered user. So why is that? It's simply because while writing the user story, you have to keep in mind the perspective of the end user. And the end user in this case is the registered user who may be using the e-wallet. Okay, next scenario, think yourself as a mobile app user where you can store your data in the cloud to help you access classroom notes from anywhere. You can pause the screen and practice writing a user story for this scenario. Okay, the user story for this scenario could be, as a mobile app user, I want to be able to store my data in the cloud so that I can assess it from anywhere. We have learned that user stories should be the reflection or say mirror of your customer's voice also called the voice of customers. Even if you are a developer or you are developing the user story for the company, it should still be targeting the voice of the end customers or the users rather than the company's need itself who is a customer here. So even though the company might be a customer, you have to keep in mind the end user of the particular feature. Let's understand it with an example. Let's suppose a scenario. As a software engineer, you have to develop a database where you can organize the information entered by the user in the tabular form and connect that data to the cloud server to let you access the data through the mobile app. Let's see the first user story. As a software engineer, I want to develop a database where I can organize the information entered by the user in the tabular form and connect the data to the cloud server so that I can let the user access it from the mobile app. If you write user story this way, it will be correct technically. However, as we studied, does this sound like a customer's or end user's voice? No. So although being explanative for all the who, what and why's, it is not a good user story. So how can we make it good? Let's see the second example. As a mobile app user, I want to get an organized data in my mobile app so that I can access it from anywhere. This is a more appropriate form of the user story for this particular scenario. So let's wrap up with the important concepts of the user stories. 
let's talk about the roles requirements and regions role is simply who or to whom the feature is aimed at note that the roles should be the actual human who interacts with the system that's quite obvious and the role should be as specific as possible we just saw an example that the development team is not a user about requirements requirements gives us the information about what the user should be able to do and these are usually unique for each user story the voice should be active and about the region the region should be the real world result that is non functional or external to the system stories may share the same benefit statement but one most important thing about the result is that the benefit may be for other user or customers and not just for the user in the story so it may be beneficial for many other people except the one who is the user of the story the expected benefit from this template using the 3r method would be since agile is all about the better communication and quick feedback this template makes people understand in their native dialect it gives a clear message and explains to them what to do also tells them who is it for and why he needs it so this is all about writing the user story using the 3r thank you so much before ending this lecture let me remind you to join my lean university's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for limited time inside my lean university's online library and get tons of free courses free books and lecture topics on project management lean and six sigma operations and supply chain productive and preventive maintenance quality maintenance data science industry and sales management agile and scrum kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free no strings attached as we have limited seats only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all